TIFU playing the wrong music in front of my GF. A few days ago I picked my GF up at the airport. She returned from a work trip. I was playing music from my phone through my car while I was asking my GF about her time away. She responded to my questions with enthusiasm at first, but then she began pausing mid-sentences to the point where I asked if something was wrong. She took a sip of water and said she might be experiencing jet lag because she was feeling flustered and fatigued. I narrowed my eyes and asked if jet lag was all it was or if there was something else she wanted to tell me. My GF, who now seemed upset for some reason, said I should just spit it out and flat out ask her if she was cheating on me during the work trip. I was fucking flabbergasted. I had no idea where that came from, so I asked what the fuck she was talking about. She said my on-the-nose choice of music, along with the anything else you want to tell me question made it obvious that I was trying to get specific information out of her. She made no sense to me, so I did a breakdown of every crazy thing she was saying and asked her to explain each breakdown, starting with my on-the-nose choice of music. My GF angrily pointed out that most of the songs on my playlist were about cheating. I realized she was right when I scrolled through the list and noticed Dick Down in Dallas by Trey Lewis, It Wasn't Me by Shaggy, Guilty Conscience by 070 Shit, etc. The list went on. I showed my GF that my music was on shuffle the whole time and that none of the songs were my choice. It was all random. I also informed her that my anything else you want to tell me question was supposed to be funny because it was a reference to a running joke in our relationship that she might be pregnant whenever she was feeling sick. Cut to the most uncomfortable moment of silence in the history of uncomfortable silences. My GF apologized when it eventually became clear to her that she misinterpreted my intentions. However, there was still the elephant in the room. My GF used the word cheating earlier and I wanted to know why. Based on her explanation, she was pursued by one of her co-workers during her work trip. She said she made sure nothing happened between the two of them, physically speaking, but she admitted that she enjoyed the attention and the flirtation. I decided to drop my now ex-GF at her mom's house and drive back to my apartment alone while listening to Mr. Brightside by The Killers, which was in fact my choice. I was happy with my GF and a big part of me wishes I could go back in time and play dubstep or some shit so I never would have gone down the rabbit hole of mistrust.